Good morning, everyone. I really love to bring the Bible with me all the time. But now with the good technology that we have, we honestly, we don't need the Bible right here to be preaching. Uh, we have everything in the screen. It's an easier way. It's an easier way, but uh, in my opinion, personally, I always love to have the Bible with me. Yeah, I trust most in the Bible, and I, I also <clears throat> always say to my family, uh, you can have the Bible in, in your iPhone, iPad, a computer, or whatever, uh, but that's not, that's not the Bible. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. This is the Word of God. So uh, thank you so much to the elders, and good morning to everyone. Thank you so much to the elders for the opportunity. And it's so, so good to be this morning with the family of the Lord, to be gathered together. Uh, when I, I, I was converted in 1987, I decided to follow Jesus. And when I obeyed the gospel, I thought that everything is gonna, was going to be easy in this way. But after one year, in this way, I had a very bad experience. So I started learning that I need to be a strong, strong in the Lord. So problems are coming, and struggles are coming, but it's necessary to be strong. And the name of my, of my lesson for this morning is that one. Be a strong. This, we find this one in Ephesians chapter 6 in the verse 10. The Bible said that we need to be strong, and this is uh, the purpose of this lesson is to encourage one another. That's the purpose of this lesson. And these words that we find right here in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, this is a commandment. A commandment of the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul for all of us, not only for the church in Ephesus, but for all Christians in all the ages. <clears throat> And we need to be strong. Why do we need to be strong? We need to be strong because of our adversaries. We have many adversaries around us. We need to be strong because of our testimony. The Apostle Paul said that we are like letters, that everyone is reading this letter around. And we have many people around that they don't know Jesus yet, and they are gonna see our testimony. They are gonna see or light or or darkness. We have to be very careful. So that's the reason that we also need to be a strong. And in the next line, uh, the apostle Paul said he's gonna be finishing this epistle in this chapter. And in the verse uh, 10, he also said, finally, he's finishing the epistle. And finally, sim simple mean that he had talked before about different topics, but now he is going to be talking about a different topic. And it topics that he spoke before, we can mention uh, the Apostle Paul, he was talking about the unity of the Christians. We need to be united. When we are united, we are stronger. We are strong. We are one family in Christ. And another topic that he uh, the Apostle Paul spoke in the, uh, in the chapter 5 or chapter 4 and all the chapter before is 
about the church. Church was made of all Christian to all ages. And the, the, the word church simple means the core ones. In the Greek is ecclesia. That's mean all those that have been, <clears throat> sorry, that have been called through the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's uh, uh, simple means the word uh, church. And the other topic that he mentioned in the chapter before, before the chapter six, is that Jesus is the head of the church. And the Father is the head of Jesus. And please, we're going to consider these words, these two words. Be a strong. We are going to go to the next line. <clears throat> Be a strong. They are, I wrote right here, they are military words. Because in the, I think there it was in the, in the, in the army or the uh, Navy, I don't know, but he is a military expression. This means discipline. And the Apostle Paul is talking about the Roman soldiers. And in the following verse, he's going to use the uh, the uniform of the Roman Empire, helmet, sword, a breastplate, shield. That was the uniform of the Roman Empire in that time. But the Apostle Paul is going to be applying these things for the spiritual things. And in, in the next line, Every believer, every believer, this is the individual commandment, every believer has signed up for a battle. At the moment that we are converted and we decide to follow Jesus, it's very important to understand that we sign up for a battle. That's the reason the Apostle Paul is saying, be strong. And the next line, <clears throat> Paul reveals the enemy. We need to be strong because we have one strong enemy. Next line, please. Who is this enemy? The devil and his allies. He got many allies many friends, many angels that disobey to the Lord God now are, are in the sight of the devil. So we have to be prepared and we have to be, we need to be strong because the devil and his allies are strong. It's going to be not an easy battle. It's going to be a difficult battle, but like the son said, the battle belongs to the Lord. We have to be remembering that. We need to be strong, we must to be strong, but the battle belongs to the Lord. We have a, a strong enemy, but we got one a stronger friend, that is Jesus. In the next line, we read in the verse 12. In the verse 12. <clears throat> it said, for our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. It's not a battle against another human beings. 
and we need to be a strong because our battle is a is a battle against the devil and the angels and the demons. So we need to be strong. That's the reason that the Apostle Paul is com commanding to us, be strong. And he's, he's saying, our struggle is not against flesh. It's not against blood, but it's against the rulers, principalities, against the devil. And in the next line, We must to be strong for the battle. The next slide, please. In what aspect do we be strong? I got four aspects that we need to be strong to win this battle. And in the next slide, please. Number one, we need to be a strong in character. This means to be a strong mentally and to be a strong morally. This is mean that we need to have a change in our life. We have to be a different person. We, we, are, we have to be renewed in Jesus Christ. That's the reason that the Apostle Paul is mentioned that we need to be a strong in character. In, in the verse, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible says, A stand firm, therefore, having here your loins with truth and having put on the brass plate of righteousness. Again, the Apostle Paul is using the Roman uniform of the army of the, of the Roman Empire. And he is saying in the verse 14, we have to be geared or body with this uniform. And this uniform means for the Roman soldier protection in the battle. But I'm saying right now that also means character. That our character has to be changed. We have to be different now. Our way to think, our way to act, it has to be different. Not the same way that we were acting or doing before to know Jesus Christ. So number one, it's very important to be a strong or to be ready or to be prepared to fight this battle, to be a strong in character. And the next line, please. A strong in faith. At the time that we know the truth, it's important to keep walking in this truth. And to keep walking in this truth, it's mean faith, but not only Faith, it doesn't only mean in this verse right here just to say that I believe in Jesus Christ. This faith means more than that. This faith means like Jude says in the verse 3. We need to be prepared to contend for this faith. This faith, faith the word faith right here means doctrine. We are in the truth. We are in the faith of Jesus Christ. We are in the true religion. We are in the true doctrine. So we need to keep faithful in this faith. And the verse says, in addition, in addition to all taking up the shield of faith. Again, the Apostle Paul is mentioned uh, the Roman uniform, the shield, with which you be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows 
of the evil one. In the next line. <clears throat> this is going to be the number three. We need to be a strong in biblical knowledge. When we know the truth and we keep the faith in this truth, it's also necessary to be a strong in the biblical knowledge. This is mean that it's important or so important to be studying the Bible every moment, every day. Don't get tired. Don't get tired to read. I'm, I'm surprised with the young people at the school because they read one book in one day. But when they ask today, have you read in the Bible just one chapter? They said, no. I, I ask to my children sometimes, why are you able to read one book in a couple hours, but you said that you are not able to read just one chapter? We need to be strong in the biblical knowledge. Why is it so important to be strong in the biblical knowledge? Because we are going to be prepared to defend this truth that we are believing. This point is in connection with the faith. It's in connection with our character. It's very important to be a study. Don't get tired to be a study in the Bible. I have been reading the Bible a couple of times, but I have forgotten many texts. I have to start again to read it. It's not boring. If you believe, if you got faith in God, you're going to enjoy to be reading this book. This book is saying to us the truth. Love this, this book. Love this truth. And the next point, the next line, please. We need to be a strong in prayer. We are in trouble. We are in problems because we are not praying. We are not asking for help. If Jesus is with us in this bottom, if we need to be a strong, we need to be in contact with our command, commander. It's necessary. And the only way to be in contact with him is only through our prayers. We need to be praying. The Apostle Paul says, praying without ceasing. And the verse 18, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, says, with all prayer and petition, Pray at all times in the Spirit. Apostle Paul is talking about the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 6, verse 26. The Apostle Paul says that the Holy Spirit is interceding for us. That's the reason that Paul says right here to the Ephesians, pray in the Spirit. Pray according to the truth that the Holy Spirit has revealed to us. And with this in view, be on the alert. We need to be alert like the soldiers. I was in Santa Cruz almost one month ago, working over there. And when I took my, my break, I went to get my lunch, and when I was in the restaurant eating over there, eh, I saw a, a patrol outside parking, then the officer get inside to get also his lunch, and he's, he sat down in front of me, and when I, I, I stand up to leave, to come back to work, I, I, took, I put my hand in my, in my pocket looking for my cell phone. Like the Apostle Paul is saying right here, we need to be in alert, like the soldier. The soldiers or the officers are alert all the time. When he saw my hand going to my pocket, immediately he saw, and he's gone to his gun. 
<laughs> I, I, I was a little nervous, a little scared, but when he saw that, that he, I, I was doing anything wrong, he changed his side to a, another direction. They are alert all the time. The Roman soldier, and not only the Roman soldier, the soldiers here, the officer here in every country, discipline. They are alert all the time. The Christians, we are soldiers of Christ. It's necessary to be alert. It's necessary to be strong. And the Apostle Paul says right here in this verse, praying, strong in prayer, uh, pray not only, not only for me, but for the rest of the saints. For brothers, sisters, we saw right now the prayer list, a long prayer list. Many brothers and sisters in need. So we need to be praying not only for us, but for them, for the rest of, of the members of the kingdom of the Lord. So we need to be strong also in prayer. And we are going to the next line, please. Be a strong. Can be worse or mockery. Somebody can say, brother, you are, it's so easy to say be a strong. Maybe you are doing mockery of us because we are in many problems. And we, we say in, in my country, you need to be in my shoes to understand my problems. So no, you, you are saying that it's so easy to so be strong. I'm not saying that it's easy to be strong. But remember what we said at the beginning is a command of the Lord through the Apostle Paul. Hey, in the next line, Sometimes we words mean nothing. People want to see actions or people want to receive really hard. Uh, the next line. Maybe these good words made fun of you today. Maybe you feel weak in a special way and you can be saying you don't understand my problems or maybe uh, your problems are so difficult to solve that's what you, you're thinking maybe now or maybe your temptations has put you over the edge of a cliff And probably you are wondering, I can continue. It's so difficult to be strong. But let's go to the next line, please. And you have tried to be strong, but you said it's so hard, it's so difficult. Next line. You try to clean your language, to you try to speak in a different way, in a decently way, but you say, I can't. And probably you have tried to control your temper. I get angry so easily. It's so hard to be strong. Maybe you have made a, an effort to stop worrying, but what happened? You keep falling time after time. So why Paul is saying, be a strong, if it is so difficult to be a strong? You can say, I don't understand. Because I try, but I keep falling time after time. 
Let's go to the next clip, please. Also, this is only the beginning of the verse. Be strong in whom? In yourself? No. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his mighty, of his power. I am not strong by myself, but I am able to be strong in the Lord. In the Lord, we can everything. Everything is possible in Christ. Believing in the Lord and trusting in the Lord. Some battles are too tough for us. The next line. The adversary is too strong for us. Remember, our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against an evil spirit. Satan and his friends. But in the next line, we have a mighty Savior. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. He got all power in heaven and on earth. We have a mighty medi mediator, a mighty Savior, Jesus the Christ. And in the next line, and Isaiah, this is the favorite. I was thinking in Brother Henry when I wrote this, this text. Special for this lesson. Yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. If we are waiting in the Lord. If we are in the Lord, we are going to be strong. Everything is going to be possible. We are right here this morning because we are strong. Because we got faith in the Lord. Because we believe in him. Because we understand that he is encouraging us every moment. And we are going to be continue being strong in the Lord. Remember that. In the Lord. If you need some assistance this morning, we are ready to help you. If you are not a child of God yet, we invite you to come to Jesus Christ this morning. If you are feeling weak, that you are not able to continue. We tell you this morning that you're going to be strong in the Lord. Come to the waters and be baptized. Repenting of your sins, changing your way and your mind. Confessing Jesus as the Son of God. And we guarantee you, according to the scriptures, that you shall be saved. And after that, keep faithful to the point of death. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, and the lesson is yours.